by CFU, the power of service. Continuing our discussion with Coach Paulson here at the track. Coach, uh, in the men's 800, you have Drake Hansen, the indoor champion uh, in that 800, followed by Chase Kanucky, a uh, fellow Panther, uh, with the top and the third best time in the Valley. Opportunity to put some big points in one event. Yeah, for sure. Those guys uh, looking terrific right now. And we got a couple other guys that are sitting 10th and 11th. And so uh, maybe get one or both of those guys in the finals and really have a chance to make uh, a big dent in the points there. But uh, Drake, from where he's at from winning the indoor title, and then Chase being right on his heels, uh, both have their tickets punched to the first round of the national championships and so don't have to worry about that this weekend uh, just have to get them out there and, and see what we can do ready for any kind of race if it goes out fast they're ready if it's a sit and kick we're ready to go let's look at the short sprints now for both the men's and women's coaches start with the men's Isaiah Trousel has had some big wins here this outdoor season it started down at the Texas relays most recently at the Drake relays coming away with titles yeah to win both those events is a terrific feather in his cap and uh, you know Texas relays against some of the big, best competition uh, the country has to offer, followed up with Drake, same thing. And for him to kind of take care of those fields and not relative ease, but just, you know, he dominated those races and uh, didn't leave a whole lot to be, you know, questioned at the end of the race. And so he's he's on another level right now. Can't wait to see what he can do this weekend. And uh, just his story of the, all the adversity he had to overcome, the injuries he's battled. Uh, he's a six year senior, so uh, he's definitely put his time in here. I can't wait to see how, what this last month brings for him. It's been fun to see him have a, a successful and healthy outdoor season. Uh, opportunity to get multiple guys in there as well. Three guys in the top eight, uh, Deontay Dean, uh, Tanache Chagut, do uh puts together a pretty good four by one too you look at the relays yeah the depth is great uh four by one has ran the second fastest time in school history there and we haven't run our best race yet so i'm really looking forward to, to see what can happen at the conference meet uh you got some other teams in there indiana state illinois state have terrific relay teams as well so uh it's just going to be i don't know it's going to be one of the best conference meets i think uh in recent history especially in the sprints uh, we're just loaded top to bottom and um you know we got the guys there that can get it done and so i can't wait to see it happen well, you've got the women there that can get it done as well. A four by one, a top five mark uh, in school history and uh, some good pieces in the 100, the 200 as well. Yeah, and that unit works so well together. Um, I, it, we haven't even seen the best of them yet either. And so Smith's been working really hard, uh, getting the right formula put together, the right order. Uh, there's a there's a, a kind of a rhythm and a synergy to it. And so you have to kind of get all that ironed out. Ran it last week at Wisconsin, went really well. We dropped seven tenths of a second from the previous season best. And so uh, they're primed and ready, right at the right spot. And you got Illinois State out there and Southern Illinois also with terrific times uh, put out there. So it's uh, it's gonna be it's gonna be a fun one. And a chance for a number of kids to make a finals right now. We have a story on one of those athletes, Ryland Santee. 